We have been blessed. The bees are buzzing and the birds are chirping, Mr. Clay. And what they're telling me is that those Dixon motherfuckers are ducking down in the back of rundown shotgun shacks trying to sell off more of their guns. Where it is, Dixie's in need of money. Could have something to do with their partnership with the Southern Union. Make their stash hours, and we'll hit them where they hurt. Them and pound them. Duck, motherfucker! Go, <laughs> <Damn it. laughs> Introduce him to the curb. Check in a grenade. Bitch, I threw it.
I'm in the bayou and I need transportation. On it, lad. Just getting her warmed up. Here's your car, boss. Appreciate it. for you, son. We getting old or something. He's gotta be here. Where'd he get off to? Rump. That's the power of life. Skin that boy right off. I guess we can get ah. ah. I get to clean my shorts now.
seeing big things out there on the streets. And it's all because of these guns right here. One of Dixie's biggest customers is our very own police department. They got a heavy-duty police truck locked down at the station, and it's loaded up with military-grade weapons. The exact kind of firepower those motherfuckers turn around and use on us. Why don't you stop by and do what comes natural? Buy you and I need transportation. Just gonna take a squirt and I'll get her out here. Four wheels and an engine. That's a big hill.
I need a vehicle in South Downs. That's a gun he's carrying! Where do you think you're going?
control unit, search is called off. Repeat, abandon search for control. Folks are finally feeling safe again in their own homes. The mere presence of these guns is bringing real change to the hollow. You really come through here. I'm impressed. You also sound surprised. I'll admit I carry some doubts about your level of commitment. Connor's a temporary problem. The hollow go ain't going nowhere. I just hope you and I stay aligned on what matters. I've seen what power does, how it can change a man's focus. See, that right there is the biggest problem we have. Every time you and I start discussing business, you start up about how the world works, about the trials and tribulations of colored folk. And you do it as if I have no idea, as if I just woke up this morning and found myself a man of color. That's not what I'm doing. When I was seven years old, me and the boys from the orphanage weren't allowed in the shoe store. So we had to stand around our back and hand over an outline of our feet so the guy inside knew what size we were. When I was ten, there was this little white girl running around the neighborhood. We both crushed pretty hard on each other. But then her big brothers caught us holding hands in the park. They beat the fuck out of me. Called her a nigga lover. They nearly killed me. There's a lot of things in this world I don't know. Things I've never experienced. And I got no problem admitting to that. But you need to stop talking to me as if being colored is one of them. And yet you volunteered to serve a government that hates you. That sent you halfway around the world to kill our Vietnamese brothers and sisters. I have my reasons. Everyone has their reasons, Lincoln. I'm here now, Cassandra. That's all that matters. How all this shakes out in the end, that's what matters. We arming our people in fucking Dixie all at the same time. Who said we couldn't have some fun? When you take possession of their weapons, bring them back to me. <laughs> 